access management. Uh, they uh, they contacted us, and uh, you know, of course, Nelly, my manager, she called me right away and said, "Hey, listen, we have this great opportunity, you know, for you to get your story out there and get your name out there, and why not do it?" So, uh, you know, I thought about it for a second and. Uh, I really wanted to share my story with with uh, with everybody because the funny thing is when when Nelly called me at first, you know she's like, well, there's they want to do this thing, you know, chicken soup, you know, for the American Idol soul. I'm like, why the heck would anybody want to name a book, you know, what chicken soup with the Ameri you know, like I didn't get it. And then she's like, you don't know what chicken soup is. I'm like, no, I don't. So she explained it to me, and then I, I, I researched it, and I felt really stupid. So, <laughs> so it was kind of, uh, kind of embarrassing at first. I wasn't born here originally, so when I came here as a little kid, you know, my parents didn't know anything about it, so I, I was never exposed to it. So, uh, but I'm catching up on it. I actually am, and I'm very happy about that because, you know, you gotta know chicken soup. <laughs> I came to the U.S. when I was like nine years old, I think nine or ten years old. So, you know, I, I was excited to come here. So I, it was, it, it was, uh, you know, it was a dream come true to to come to uh, to the U.S. And, and and be out here and you know work towards a future. So I decided to share my story because I wanted to inspire people and let them know that no matter what you know, no matter what obstacles you have, you can still, you know, with God's help and 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 persistence, you can you can still make your dreams come true. We came to the United States when I was nine years old because my parents wanted a better life for their two sons. Getting here wasn't so easy. My mother and I were sent back uh, at the border because of improper paperwork. Watching my father and my brother go through those giant iron gates without us, of course, was one of the most terrifying moments in my life. To be separated from Dennis was just incomprehensible to me. I thought about him every day and I prayed we would be together again soon. Thankfully, months later, my mom and I were able to leave and my life started anew when our plane touched down in America. Over time, my, uh, my brother started to look at me more as an equal and not like a little kid anymore. And we went everywhere together. We were inseparable. When American Idol happened, my whole life changed, but not my relationship with Dennis. He'd call me up while I was on the show and tell me how proud he was of me. You're doing so great, little brother. Keep it up. His words kept me moving forward with unstoppable focus and desire. I knew in my heart I was accomplishing a huge goal, but hearing it from Dennis made it real for me. Even when I was voted off, I was on top of the world. But my happiness turned to despair when I realized that my family had been keeping something from me while I was in Hollywood. Now the time had come for me to know. The phone rang, my mother's words left me numb. Anthony Dennis is very sick. Whoever reads this story, I hope it could make him realize that we have, every person has a lot of layers, a lot of superficial, pointless layers that all these layers need to be stripped away and you have to see what really matters, which is your loved ones, you know, and your dreams. And you have a certain amount of time to make your dreams come true. So what I want people to see is that a lot of the things that people think are important are really not, you know. And as long as you have your health and you have your family loving you and supporting you, and you have a dream that you want to accomplish, then you've already succeeded, and, and that's the most important thing in the world. Don't ever, ever get